In this video, we're going to take a look at another uh, way to do pivot tables. In the previous video, we looked at uh, pivot table lists, and uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, pivot table tables. It's just a little difference in, in the way that the data happens to be formatted. So if you want to do a pivot table, uh, the rules are you have to have uh, repeating data in some of the columns, which we do in the product column, the month column, and the region column. And you need to have um, field names at the top of each column, uh, which we do. And then you just have to put the cursor someplace in the data and go to the Insert tab and click on Pivot Table. And if you put the cursor in the data, you don't even have to do anything here. And I'll, I'm always going to put mine on a new worksheet. And click on OK, and there's our new worksheet. And uh, so let's get ourselves a little pivot table here. Let's get our revenue by product. And uh, let's uh, do a little bit of formatting here and decrease the decimals. And again, this stuff went away because I clicked outside the pivot table. As soon as I click back in, this appears, and my pivot table tools appear up here at the top as well. So um, this is something we did in the previous video. Let's say I want to know uh, what I did each month. Uh, this is also uh, exactly what we did in the previous video, but we left it in a list format before and um, now we're going to change it to a table format. If you look down here uh, in the pivot table fields area over here on the right, uh, we've got four boxes down here at the bottom, filters, columns, rows, and values. And um, when I clicked on product, product appeared down here because it's a text field. When I click on month, month appeared down here because it's a text field. When I click on revenue, revenue goes here because it is a numeric field. Numeric fields are going to go in the values box here. Now, product was clicked on first, so product is on the top here, and then month is on the bottom. If you go over here, product is listed first, and then underneath each product, I've got the month. Now, let's say that I want this in a table format, uh, which would be a little more compact. Um, all I have to do is go here and drag month up to this columns box here, and it tells me that I want my months to be listed in columns and I want my products to be listed in rows. And here's what I get. And uh, it's formatted just about the way I want it to. Uh, for some reason, you know, this is not aligned the way the other ones are. Um, actually, I think maybe it is. It is left aligned. Uh, yeah, but uh, it's a wider column because of this stuff. So you got a couple of choices. You could narrow this column up if you wanted to, or you can leave it, and we can just pick all of these, and uh, we can uh, right align them. So it looks a little better. So because product is down here and month is up here, product is going to be in the row labels and months are going to be in my column labels. Um, I can drag product up here if I want to, but when I do, I get something kind of ugly. It's like this big, long, horizontal list uh, that is really hard to read and you'll never use. Uh, but I can also drag month back down here. And if I do, now I'm saying I want month to be my row labels, and I want the products to be my column labels. It's the exact same data. We just kind of um, flip-flop the data around um, to change, change the emphasis a little bit. And if you want to make it really interesting, you can add region on here as well. Uh, if I add region, um, I'm going to get month first in my row. So I'm get January, February, March, April, and then under each month I'm going to get the region and I'm still going to have product uh, going across the top. And let's try pulling region up here. I'm not sure how good or bad this is going to look. Um, and actually it's it's an awfully wide spreadsheet if I do it that way. Uh, but if you want to do it that way, um, you're free to you know drag and drop this stuff in any order that you want. Uh, so I'm going to leave region up there at the top. Uh, now I've got first by month and then by product. If I don't like that, I can take month and drag it down here and drop it below product, and now it's organized a different way. If I want to drag month up there and region down here, um, same data, just a whole bunch of different ways to look at it. And um, these are what I call uh, pivot tables in a table format because you've got rows and columns as opposed to a list format uh, where pretty much everything was in column A and column B. Uh, so whatever way you think uh, is the best way to present your data, uh, Excel makes it real easy to do it with a pivot table.